Business growth is easy, it's simple, it's swift, and it's pretty predictable when you're clear. Hey, I'm Rosemary Nonny Knight. I am the, pro the money minister. I support action-oriented spiritual women who are ready to build six-figure incomes in their spiritual business. We see business as a form of spiritual growth, okay? Because we recognize that apart from having children, <laughs> the, 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 whole, the whole journey of growing a highly successful business will demand that we rediscover who we are, okay? So if that's you, you need to get the six-figure spiritual business collection. The link will be around this video somewhere. Now, business growth, the first time, because it was Divine that actually said this to me, business growth is supposed to be easy, it's supposed to be simple, it's supposed to be swift. And I'm just like, you know, when I heard this first, or money growth, income growth, it's all supposed to be easy, simple, and swift. And I'm like, it doesn't feel that way to me. And, and the truth that came through at that point in my life was that I wasn't clear. I was divided. I was all over the place. I was trying to be all things to all people, trying to please people, feeling guilty when I said no, feeling rebellious if I decided I was going to do my own thing or submitting if, if I felt that it would just keep the peace trying to stay with the tribe, trying to get away from the tribe. My life was a confusing mess. <laughs> okay. And I didn't know it because I was, I'm a type A kind of girl going out there, doing things, making things happen, blah, blah, blah. And that might be you on the surface of it. You look successful. You probably hold a great job. You know, you have great skills. People, it's like people look at you and envy you. And yet, inside of you, you know, you don't feel, you don't feel good. You generally gloss over it. I and mean, you also tell yourself, well, it's just adult life. You just have to kind of get on with it. You long for things that you're not allowing yourself to actually go create. Or even when you start building a business and doing something that you really want to do, you, you quit. Or you... You, you do all kinds of things to sabotage yourself that you may not even be seeing right now, which is why growing your business, if you're already in business, or growing your income in whatever way, is difficult, when truthfully, it's supposed to be easy. Now, I know I'm not saying a lot here, because each individual woman, your issues are going to be kind of individual to you, and yet not, because it really comes back down to who has the power in your life. Are you clear about that? Are you really clear about that? Because maybe you feel self-doubt, but do you know why? Do you understand that your power base is shaken? And, and, and depending on what, what, at what point you are in your journey and how long you've been throwing yourself against a brick wall and not getting anywhere, you might listen to me and think, oh, I'm just talking rubbish. And then you'll go and look for somebody who's going to give you some more tips, tricks, and strategies. Yes, we need tips, tricks, and strategies. Absolutely. But you already know really what needs to happen. You're not doing it though. Or you're doing it, but not getting any, not getting the result that you should be getting with all the effort you're putting into this. And there is a reason for it. And it will be to do with your power, but how it looks for you will be different from how it looks for any other woman. You need support. I'm sorry, but you do, because if not, you won't even see that this is happening to you. You'll just think, because you are surrounded by other women who are in exactly the same kind of place or even worse off than you, they, they, they don't know either. Nobody knows what is going on. So you all think this is just normal life. It is not supposed to be. It's not supposed to be. This journey for me, growing my business, has been, it has exposed me to things that I would never have thought of. Because it's sometimes it's when you hit rock bottom, isn't it? That you, <laughs> you start realizing, what, what, why am I doing this to my freaking self? <sighs> Step one, get the six-figure spiritual business collection. It is time for you to start understanding what is getting in your way. Of course, you could choose to keep throwing your head against the wall for another year or so before you finally realize that you do need support. I didn't get here on my own. 
It was because I had powerful women and some powerful men in my life pointing out to me. And sometimes it took them a lot of pointing out for me to finally see. Oh, that's what has been causing me issues. Because I am stubborn. <laughs> so are you, I know. And in some ways that's good. But sometimes it holds you back from moving forward as fast as you could. Business growth is supposed to be easy, simple and swift. It not, it's not supposed to be some kind of horrible, horrible journey. It's not supposed to be that. And if it feels like that for you, whether it's business growth or income growth as a whole, you need support. You need to get on the right path for you. Start with the six-figure spiritual business collection. You know what? At this point, I don't even care if you want to be in business or not. Get it because of the programs in there that will start opening your eyes to what is actually going on in your life. You need support. I particularly work with entrepreneurial women. If that's you, get the collection first. One of the bonuses is a chat with me. Even if it's not you, there's still a chat with me. <laughs> okay? Much amazing love. You deserve better. Will you allow yourself to get it? Much love.